An air balloon is flying across the sky above the canyon. Workers are growing and picking vegetables. A woman is at the market, choosing apples and other ingredients, while the song Chili's or Love is playing. She is in her kitchen, carefully cutting the vegetables into slices and preparing a meal. She is frying an egg, some potatoes, and broccoli. Once it is finished, the woman serves it on the plate, adds an egg on top of it and a special chili sauce. Joel is already awake even though it's 5.20 in the morning. He does some exercise as he pedals on his bike. His girlfriend, Lauren, wakes up a bit moody and is surprised to see her boyfriend up so early. Joel then enters the swimming pool to do some stretching exercises, and once done, he goes into the kitchen to prepare a healthy meal. Lauren doesn't see the point in focusing so much on a healthy lifestyle, and thinks Joel should focus on his career instead. She is looking for her coffee maker, and Joel admits he hid it away. Meanwhile, Javiera, who is preparing a delicious meal with chili, vegetables and eggs, is in the kitchen with her daughter. The meal she was preparing was breakfast for her daughter, Sophia. Sophia tries the food and thinks it's delicious, and as she is eating, they practice word spelling. Javiera explains food is love. Back in Joel's kitchen, he is drinking a smoothie he prepared, and Lauren is mixing her tea. She is not happy without her coffee. Joel says food is fuel. Joel gets out of the house in his cycling suit and goes on a bike ride. There is a Tortilla Hut commercial on TV advertising tacos. Javiera walks in, while her mother and a colleague are watching the commercial. Javiera doesn't agree with the low price of tacos, she believes quality should be paid for. She tastes the food Cornelia is making, but the taste is missing chilies, so Javiera decides to go and get some supplies. Joel arrives at his work. His colleague Aaron is talking on the phone with Joel's dad, who is also a boss of the company, and Aaron passes the phone to Joel, who promises he will be there at the meeting starting at 10. Since Joel is in cycling clothes, he borrows the jacket from one of the employees and wears it to the meeting. At the meeting, Joel's sister Stacy, who is leading the meeting, tells everyone the sales of their company, Tortilla Hut, have dropped, and they need to do some research and find the next big product. She asks her brother Joel to go to the Southwest to investigate New Mexican cuisine. Joel is not thrilled to hear this, firstly because of his healthy diet, and secondly, because it sounds like hard work. Javiera is about to cut the green chilies she brought, when she sees her daughter at the table. Sophia reminds her she has a half day at school today. Javiera decides to tell her about the family legacy, the secret of the chili. She tells Sophia the story of her great-great-grandfather, who made a pact with a wise man named Fabian Garcia. Fabian would come to be known as the inventor of the Mexican green chili seeds. Javiera promises to one day pass the secret of the chili to her daughter. Joel is at the office talking to his sister, who wants to know why he is dissatisfied with his assignment, and what he is planning to do with his life. Joel explains once again why he can't go to Southwest, and how he has a law practice to attend to. His sister Stacy is not convinced by his arguments. Joel arrives back at his house, and finds Lauren all packed up and ready to leave. At first he thinks she is ready to travel with him but then he realizes she is about to leave him. Lauren explains everything in their relationship has been about Joel and what he wants, and rarely about her needs and wants. Lauren says she wants someone who can make her laugh and leaves Joel's house. Joel starts his trip to the Southwest, in search of delicious new food and ingredients. In Javiera's restaurant, Javiera prepares a piece of meat, and her mother and colleague Cornelia serves it to the customers. Javiera's boyfriend Kevin lets Cornelia know the tour has been sold out, and tells her her daughter is becoming a rock star. They also talk about the new sign outside. Joel is trying to reach his now ex-girlfriend but gets the answering machine. He leaves a long message and says he's been thinking about what she said, that everything is always about him. He reminds her of the time when they were at a golf competition and Lauren had to leave because her mom got sick and Joel didn't get mad or make a big deal about it. He realizes this isn't really the best example, but then the answering machine stops recording. Kevin is trying to persuade Javiera to expand the restaurant but she is not thrilled by the idea, she likes it as it is, timeless. Joel stops by in a couple of restaurants to try the food. In one of them he finds a dish with chili sauce and he likes the recipe. He sends the sample of the food back to the firm. While talking on the phone to Stacy, Joel accidentally insults a couple coming out of the restaurant. He sees they are on some kind of a tour and about to enter a van taking them to the next restaurant, and he decides to follow them. They arrive at Javiera's restaurant, and Javiera is inside preparing her special dish for the guests. The group enters to have lunch and Joel stays outside, peeking through the window. Cornelia walks outside and greets Joel, thinking he is with the group. She notices he looks really sad, and Joel explains his girlfriend just left him. Cornelia takes him inside to have lunch and forget his worries, but a couple Joel insulted earlier, recognizes him and starts complaining. They say he followed them, and now wants to eat for free. The waiter is suspicious whether Joel is with the group. Javiera hears the noise from the other room, and goes there to solve the issue. She says she is never wrong about the number of orders and finally, they kick Joel out. As he is leaving, the waiter gives him an empanada to go as a comfort snack. 
Joel tries it and really loves the taste, and Javier is secretly observing him from the window. Joel calls Stacy and tells her he may have found the dish they were looking for. Stacy is excited to hear it and wants them to market the dish. Javier asks Kevin how in the world did Joel get in. A couple who is having lunch would like her to share some of her culinary secrets, and Javier compares it to a romantic relationship and says it's intimate. Joel and Stacy are talking on the phone after she has done some research, and she says there are blogs dedicated to Javiera and her food. She insists Joel should go back to that restaurant, but he refuses. As he is talking on the phone, Joel hears a police siren and stops the car. His car soon gets taken away, because he was driving too fast, and his license wasn't renewed. Joel calls Aaron who assures him he'll send the documents of his car soon. Joel is now walking on foot and pulling his suitcase, and the only place close enough is the area where he just came from, Villanueva. He tries to find a lawyer there, but the sign on the door says gone fishing. Joel meets Javiera's daughter on the street, and she immediately recognizes he is not a local. Javiera and Kevin approach him as well, and Kevin is not happy to see him there. The encounter ends with both of them having a black eye. Joel is standing in a row waiting to buy some unflavored ice cream to put on his eye, and he talks to the seller about sugar being very unhealthy. Joel asks Sofia and Javiera about a hotel nearby where he can stay for a while, but he and Javiera get into another argument. Joel is looking for a place to stay and finds a room available for rent. He wants to pay online but the lady tells him she still uses Windows 97 software, so he pays in cash. He is starving so he asks her about available restaurants in the area, and the lady explains there is only one restaurant in Villanueva, and it's Javiera's. The lady concludes he really burned that bridge with Javiera. Joel goes on his running routine, and almost gets run over by a car. He starts yelling and calling the driver a jerk, and then realizes Javiera is the driver. She continues driving and Joel follows the car while running, and he gives her an offer. He is going to help with Javiera's boyfriend's legal papers, which would usually cost a lot of money, and in exchange, she will cook a lunch for him since he didn't eat anything today. Javiera is at first reluctant to have any kind of contact with Joel, but finally she accepts. Javiera is in her kitchen, preparing a meal and her boyfriend Kevin calls. He is about to tell her something about Joel, but Javiera says she has to go help her daughter with the homework and hangs up the phone. Her mother Cornelia enters the kitchen, and they talk about Kevin. Javiera explains she is sort of satisfied with her relationship with him, and sort of trusts him. Besides, she doesn't have a lot of choice, since she is a single mother living in Villanueva, a town of around 800 people. Cornelia asks her who she is cooking for, because she saw Joel waiting for the meal in the other room. Cornelia adds she approves, meaning her new friendship with Joel, and she tosses a corn to Javiera. Sophia comes by, and Javiera asks her to take some homemade smoothie to Joel. Joel really likes the taste, and is surprised to hear there are only natural ingredients inside. Javiera serves him a meal, and he explains he was waiting for the famous traditional dish. Javiera lets him know she cooks her best dish only for friends and family, once a week. Joel still likes the food she cooked, and afterwards, he does his part of the deal, and goes through Kevin's legal papers. Joel says everything seems fine except a couple of details, such as the recipes not being under copyright law, and the ownership being split 60-40%, with the bigger amount going to Kevin. Javiera is a bit defensive talking about her boyfriend to a stranger, but she seems slightly worried about what she heard. She asks Joel to leave, as his services are no longer needed. Sophia asks her mother that how are they ever supposed to know someone, if they don't give them a chance. Joel is running and doing his exercise, when he meets Sophia on the street. She tells him today is the feast day, a celebration in which they pray for a good harvest, and eat a lot of different dishes. Sophia also wants to know what were the best and worst things Joel has ever done, and Joel answers he cheated on his exam, and he is yet to do his nicest thing. Sophia tells him about her father who lives in another city with his new family, and she is excited to hear Joel is preparing for Ironman. The feast day starts and the locals at Villeneuve are celebrating, enjoying the local cuisine, and dancing. Joel is delighted to be a part of this. He tries some food and Cornelia explains it's goat meat. He spends the night celebrating and talking to people. Cornelia is teasing her daughter about Joel, and tells her an anecdote about her marriage with Javiera's father which lasted for eight years. It's already nighttime, and Sofia and Javiera are looking through the telescope and talking about Galileo with the local astronomer. Joel, who is now drunk, joins them and says it is a shame that the Earth is not the center of the universe. Javier is a bit annoyed that he joined them, but Joel continues talking about how he is stuck in this little town. As the night ends, Joel is returning to his room on foot, and Javier and Sofia pass by in their car. Joel asks for a ride and Sofia excitedly agrees to take Joel home. Javier is not happy with having a drunk Joel in the seat next to her, but she takes him home, and gives a lesson to her daughter about not drinking, because it turns people into fools. The next morning, the sound of the rooster wakes Joel up. He realizes he was sleeping in the car, and finds a note in front of him, saying stay in the truck. He gets outside and sees a chilly field. He enters and spots Javiera who is growing vegetables. She is angry at him for entering her secret family garden. 
but he assures her it's fine since his grandfather had a farm as well and loved nature, and he himself was a vegetarian for years. As they are returning to the town in Javier's car, Joel is driving with a bag on his head, and he tells Javier he still knows how many turns they've made. Javiera gives up on her idea of hiding her secret garden, and Joel proposes to take her on a fancy dinner in Santa Fe. He says it won't be like a date since she is in a relationship, but she will have the chance to check out her competition firsthand and he will get his restaurant tour. And finally, Javiera agrees. Javiera is in her room dressing up for dinner with Joel, and he is in her kitchen talking on the phone with Stacy, who wants him to send a sample of chili to her. He puts a chili in his jacket, and Sophia appears to ask what he is doing. He tells her he got hungry and Sophia is surprised to hear that. She gives him a bunny from the fridge and wishes him good luck. Javiera is all dressed up and in her car, ready for dinner, but she feels a bit insecure and questions whether this is a bad idea. Joel appears and he asks for a minute to leave the chili he got from the kitchen, but Javiera insists they get this over with as soon as possible, so they drive to Santa Fe. In the car, they both agree this is not a date, and Joel wants to know why she thinks she is so desirable when he is a catch himself. They sit in the restaurant to have dinner and start talking about their life stories. Javiera is at first reluctant to open up, but she then shares a story about how she owned a fancy restaurant with her ex-husband, Sophia's father, and how he cheated on her after the review started singling out her recipes. She says that the old saying about there being too many cooks in the room proved to be true in this case, and not just a cliché. Joel tells her about his ex-girlfriend who dumped him but Javiera notices he doesn't know much about what she did for a living. The waitress arrives and tells them today's specials, but Javiera gets very upset after hearing the ingredients. She storms into the kitchen and yells at the cooks, she wants to know who is responsible for today's special, and then starts crying, and tells Joel she needs a drink. Joel sees a picture of the older couple who was at Javiera's during the tour, they stole the recipe. Joel and Javiera are in a bar, drinking, and he apologizes, but Javiera says he wasn't the one who stole the recipe. They kiss and Javiera senses something in his pocket. Joel takes out the bunny Sophia gave him, and Javiera smiles after seeing the bunny. Kevin suddenly appears and reminds Javiera of their business contract. Javiera believed he was in Taos on business, and she was surprised to see him. She realizes their relationship was just business for him. A girl approaches the table, she seems to be Kevin's date. Joel and Kevin get into an argument, Javiera stands between them and says no more fighting, and she gets hit by Kevin. Javiera and Joel are in the kitchen at her place, Javiera says the bruise still hurts a bit. Joel says it has never happened to him before, that a girl took a hit for him. It is late at night, and Javiera suggests doing something she hasn't done in years with a man. Joel is up for anything and she proposes to cook together. She wants to make it fun so she tells him to pick 10 different ingredients, and they will make a dish out of it. Joel picks mashed potatoes, tomatoes, and some other ingredients he found nearby, along with cereals and special chili sauce. Javiera leads him and helps him prepare the meal. She places the cereals on a cloth, puts another layer over them, and crushes them with her feet. She is both dancing and cooking, and Joel is enjoying every minute of it. Cornelia is in another room, she takes her headphones off and hears some noise. She realizes it's Joel and Javiera cooking. She calls her friend to let her know Joel might be the one for her daughter as they are cooking together. The meal is finished, and Joel and Javiera try it. It tastes absolutely delicious. They kiss and fall asleep in the kitchen. A homeless man finds a chili that was probably in Joel's pocket and eats it. The next morning, in the Tortilla Hut office, Stacy is talking to one of the employees, Brian, who was sent to find new food products in the north of the country. It's snowing outside as Brian is talking about the sweet salty ingredients he found, but Stacy is not impressed. Aaron suggests some alternatives in their marketing tactics, such as going retro, and Stacy likes the idea. She tries to reach Joel, but he is not answering his phone. Joel seems to be on extended vacation, and he spends a lot of quality time with Javiera and her daughter. They go to the market, pick vegetables and ride a bicycle. Joel gets his car fixed, and his assistant seems to be calling him, but he still doesn't feel like answering his phone. Javiera kisses him and tells him the call might be important. In Tortilla Hut, they take out Joel's belongings and another employee gets his office. It's the day of the week when Javiera makes her specialty, and everyone in the restaurant is in a cheerful mood. Stacy and her colleague Aaron suddenly appear without notice at Javiera's, and Joel is completely surprised by seeing his sister there. Stacy and Aaron meet Javiera, and Javiera tells them she is about to prepare her special traditional dish. Cornelia explains a bit more about the specialty to Stacy, and says it's called Javiera's Green Chili Sunrise. Stacy seems to be enjoying the town of Villanueva. Joel takes his sister on the side and asks her not to tell Javiera who he is, as Javiera doesn't know the full story. Stacy thinks Joel is rebounding with Javiera and playing house, she wants to know what has gotten into him, and why he didn't return her calls. In the kitchen, Javiera and her colleagues are cooking, and Javiera is in a really good mood. They are all wondering why Stacy is in town, and if it might have something to do with Joel wanting his sister to meet Javiera. Joel and Sophia are talking in front of the restaurant, 
and Sophia tells him she heard he got his car fixed. She is worried he will now leave them, and Joel promises to stay there as long as he is wanted there. There is a Tortilla Hut commercial on TV in the kitchen, and Javier and her colleagues realize Joel is in the video along with his sister. Javier is upset and doesn't want to see Joel anymore. She tells her mother he wasn't the man he said he was. Sophia remembers Javier said the same thing about her father living in Albuquerque. As Joel and Javier are arguing in the kitchen, Stacy and Aaron try to leave the restaurant without being noticed. Joel stops them last minute and takes a dish from Stacy's bag. Javier thinks Stacy and Aaron came to steal her recipe as well, but Stacy assures her she is not a thief and her company will compensate her. Stacy explains they have food scientists in their company, and they plan to replicate the chili and Javier's dish. Joel feels bad for what is happening, and Javier says she doesn't want any of them in her restaurant. Joel leaves Villanueva and goes back to his place where he spends some time alone. He runs into his ex-girlfriend Lauren who is glad to see him. She tells him she is now engaged, and he apologizes and says she deserved better than him. Back in Tortilla Hut, Stacy announces a new VD, her colleague Aaron, and they present the replicated salad and chili sauce that were done based on Javier's cuisine. Joel is there as well, and he tastes the sauce, and tells the employees of Tortilla Hut they will never be able to copy Javier's food. He quits his job, and leaves Tortilla Hut. Joel decides to take his bike, his cycling equipment and pedal all the way to Villanueva. Back at Javier's, Cornelia tells Javier people are asking about her signature dish, but Javier reminds her it is now off the menu as she is not feeling well. Sophia is in her room, circling the places on the map. She is planning to fix the situation and go get Joel. Her grandmother enters, and Sophia tells her she is making a treasure map. Joel arrives at Javier's and picks a flower from Javier's garden and gives it to her. He cites a song from the 70s while giving it to Javier, but she is not impressed and still seems to be upset. Joel proclaims his love for Javier, but she says he is not the first man to say that to her. Joel then proceeds to apologize and asks if he was the first man to come back and realize he's made a terrible mistake. He says he quit his job, and he now wants to open a law practice nearby. As they are talking, Sophia passes by unnoticed and climbs into a truck of one of the locals. Joel asks where Sophia is, and they realize she is missing. Sophia starts the engine and Joel and Javier are driving in a car behind her. The owner of the car shouts Sophia is a little thief, and her grandmother Cornelia won't allow anyone to call her granddaughter a thief. Sophia is enjoying her ride, while her mother and Joel are freaking out and trying to stop her. Sophia sees a turtle on the road, stops the car and gets stuck in a river. The car is about to sink, so she jumps out into the water. Javiera and Joel's car breaks down, and Joel takes a kid's bike and keeps pedaling. He finds Sophia who is shouting for help as the river is taking her further and further away, and he jumps in to save her. Javier is so grateful to see her daughter is safe. Sophia asks her mother if they can keep Joel. A year later, Javier is pregnant and Joel is helping out with the orders at the restaurant. He is in a rush because he has his law practice too, but he promises to first finish the chili smoothies order. The whole family, Joel, Javier and Sophia seem happy, and Javier says food is love and kisses Joel. 